If you follow anyone from England on Twitter, you should see people just going mad again about it all. What is the key point that's annoying everyone the most? I think it's the fact that VAR is no, as Mourinho said, it's not video assistant referee. The decisions seem to have been taken by the referees at Stockley Park. It's not the referee on the pitch who's having the final say. Now in the World Cup, in the Champions League, in other leagues, the referee has the final say, or he seems to have the final say. Even if he's going through the motions by looking at the monitor, he looks like he's having the final say. Too often, the referee stood in the middle of the pitch with his finger in his ear, waiting to be told what the decision is. Now, the Raheem Sterling foul on Dele Alli, that was a case in point. Mike Dean could have gone to the side of the pitch, looked at the monitor and said, OK, that to me looked like a leg-breaking challenge. He didn't. He waited to be told by the assistant referee, the video assistant referee, that it wasn't a red card offence. Now, who's in charge? The referee or the VAR? Now, that's, that's the issue in this country, in England, that the fans and, and the, the pundits, the ex-players, everyone thinks that the referees should be seen to be taking responsibility for the decisions, and they're not doing. And it's been taken care of by guys in a bunker in Stockley Park. And the image that we all, all have over here is that when a decision is made to rule a goal out or to not send anybody off, they're all high-fiving each other, saying, yeah, that's another decision we've got wrong. So why don't they just fix it easily and tell them to go to the monitor? This yeah. seems like a no-brainer. Exactly. And, They've had these meetings and, it, you know, Mike Riley's in charge of the referees and it's his decision that they will not... The, the idea is that they don't want to make the decisions take longer than they should, but as we've seen, they, they still take forever. It, it's almost like the referees in England don't want it to work. You, you wonder why. <laughs> it's almost like they want VAR to fail so that they can go back to being referees and, and being abused just for getting it wrong on the pitch rather than being wrong off the pitch, but it's not working. And they will get a lot of heat off their backs if they said, yeah, OK, look at the monitor more often because at least then the crowd know or think that the guy on the pitch is making the decision. They just want accountability. At the moment, nobody seems to be taking accountability apart from people, faceless people, in a, like I say, in a bunker in Stockley Park because the fans can't see who's making the decisions. I like the idea of the referees purposely sabotaging it all. The WhatsApp group. Oh, my God, the game today. <laughs> if you are a critic, an adversary, an opponent of VAR, today was a good day for you because there was every reason to be frustrated about the system and the implementation of the system. Even when they got the call right, they got it wrong. See, it, it was a penalty. That was on... weird, like to take uh, almost okay, two right. minutes when so, you look at replay one time. Correct, so it, it, it was a, clearly a penalty on Kun Aguero. So why would it take two minutes of actual play for them to say, hey, 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 we gotta go and take a penalty. You almost thought like, okay, they must have seen it. It wasn't a penalty, we move on. It's like, no, no, wait a minute. Now we're gonna go take a penalty after Two minutes of play have taken place. That is unacceptable. Again, even but that was the right decision. That's was, the frustrating thing. Yeah, if it was well, just a bit quicker. Correct. I go back to the uh, Raheem Sterling potential penalty in Hugo Lloris. Stevie says no penalty. I say I think it's a penalty. Regardless, here's my point. If it's not a penalty, then it's a dive by Raheem Sterling, and therefore a second yellow card, and he's thrown out of the but game. But they can't give a yellow card for diving if the referee's not deceived by okay, it. Okay, but see, but that's, that's, but this is, it, this is the yeah, insanity of, a lot, of it all. It's, it, it's almost as if not only are we taking the authority away from the referee out on the field, whoever is making this decision is making it behind, the, behind this, this darkness of, Nobody's then accountable. Yeah. Nobody's answering the questions. And so these calls are made and you just go, all right, well, I guess we're supposed to move on because, well, somebody said it was the right call. And we see the replay and then we say, well, wait, it wasn't the right call. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.